once again, kings and queens and future real to the licensed sales agent. This will be the only video you need, you know, get your license and this is the six main steps to do that yourself. first start off I want to talk about you know the cost that goes into it I got my license two days ago here in Texas and I wish I really knew this now prior to this I've been doing marketing for you know, five years for real estate people helping to get 30 60 qualified leads every single month so in future videos I'll help you get marketing as well get more leads when you first start off but this video right now is all about how to you know, get your license and what it takes to do that you know, technically step one, make sure you're of age. And after being though um, 18, it makes sure you're a citizen of the United States and a resident of the state you're trying to be a licensed virtual agent at. For me, I'm in Texas. And you stay to the end, now two extra bonus tips for you. And one of them really pertains to this first part. And mostly almost all of it. You don't want to miss that. And then step number two is kind of a two part thing. You gotta make sure you get your pre licensing exams and courses. There's six in total, and every single state is different. Here in Texas, it's 180 hours, six courses, each for 30 hours. Which sounds like a lot, but when you actually get down to the bottom of it, it's way quicker than it says. And this is by far one of the best. In, you know, industries to work for. Because there is no cap to how much money you can make. There may be no floor, but no one's gonna tell you you made too much money. This is a better thing about you know, working as an agent doing real estate. And you know, make your own hours, be your own boss, and meet a lot of awesome people that you don't normally meet otherwise. And even nowadays, you know, people are kind of like celebrities when it comes to being a realtor. It's a really, you know, great business career to be a part of. And if you try to do your pre-licensing, there's two ways to do this. Either in person or online. I chose to do mine online. I feel like it's way faster and helps way more, you know, learn your own pace and speed. You can do it in person as well, but a lot of people I've talked to did not enjoy it. It was going there for networking and wasn't really working for them. No one was selling up, no one really cared. So I think doing it online is the best way, especially now with the whole outbreak going on. All the more reasons to do that and normally it's much, much cheaper. And as a bonus for you for watching this, if you do Aceable, which is the best course out there that your license, which I did for mine, it saved me so much time, so much money, and you don't want to fail your test. And ACIVO actually will guarantee that you pass your test the first time around. If you don't, you have full back money refund. And even better, I will link down below. If you use that, they'll give you 20% off of the course. So it'll be a huge game changer for you. As I said before, it's much cheaper. And this is probably the best time to really know, get your license. Here in Austin, Texas, you know, Elon Musk is coming to town pretty soon for his big Giga factory, which means to be skyrocketing for houses and people moving him. And I'm sure Air is also trying to do a lot of big things as well. So I definitely highly recommend getting your license. And then step three, which is kind of part of step two, after that, you know, is passing the final exams for your course. After you pass all six exams, It'll be a final one, asking a recap for everything, like a master exam. And once you get that out of the way, you're now able to continue with your licensing. The next step you're gonna be after that is make sure you complete your application. Here is trek for you, maybe someone different. But you can like say before, just type in how your license or how to do my application for real estate on your Google. It'll pop up a lot of different ways, a lot of different schools, and what is the committee for you. 
the next step. And after that, you want to make sure you do a background check, your fingerprints. They'll also tell you how to do that as well. And it's a pretty fast thing. And even if you have a criminal background, depending on how bad it is, I would still try doing this. I had gotten in trouble when I was younger and it was a misdemeanor, but it was still my background today. But luckily, I was able to become a realtor still despite that. So they care more about how long it was ago and if you've been a changed person since then. They even ask you questions, making sure it's all good. So don't let your background or your past, you know, condemn you. You know, all this way forward, just keep trying to make it happen. And then, you know, number six or five, you're gonna be taking the final exam. And I'm gonna tell you four, you wanna do step three and four as quickly as possible. That way you do your final exam and you pass, using an ACEable down below, you'd be way, way quicker on actually having the opportunity to get your license as fast as possible. And once you pass the national and your state exam, which is around 120 questions total, 125, 85 for the national and then 40 for the state. And every state's different, so make sure you actually study that part of it. And don't just fly by the course because it's really imperative for this. Every time you fail a test, it takes you longer to pass, and it also costs more money. And with ACEable, down below the link will help you a lot. Make sure you pass the first time, save you money and time. This is the most important asset that you have. And number six, this is gonna be, you know, finding a good brokerage. There are so many out there to pick from, and while you're getting your licensing done, people will start emailing you and calling you, wanting to interview you to become a part of their team. And I recommend you know, actually talking to all of them to see what they're doing, see what's different, and how they help you out. But I personally did EXP for my brokerage because I met a lot of people who were really crushing it and also the opportunity for revenue sharing. And this is a key way to make passive income throughout the time of you being an agent. And most agents say they work until they die. And this is a way that does not happen. Not only do you have health insurance and insurance and you know revenue sharing, you still sell houses and also stocks. I met somebody who was making over seven hundred thousand dollars a month from his passive income from growing his team. That's like seven hundred thousand dollars. But I have a whole video on this later on. But that's a huge, huge point of why I did EXP. And if you want to join my team, I'll link down below for you as well. And if you join it now, I will give you my marketing course for free, which is $500 for anybody else. You're part of my team. And so it teach you all about marketing, how to brand yourself, how to make content, how to, you know, make ads and find more leads. As I said before at the beginning of the video, I help my clients get 30 to 60 qualified leads every single month using advertising. And this course has it all in there um, so much more, even for sales tactics as well. And then the bonus tips I was talking about are two things. You know, you want to get a mentor. As soon as you are becoming a agent, make sure you have a mentorship program going on. It'll be a huge, huge thing. And that's why EXP is so awesome because they have the opportunity to have people helping you along the way. And even while you're also, you know, doing your agencies for your last few tests, making sure that you become an active person and also getting sponsored on to a certain ABLE or some kind of outlet that you use the MOS system and have a trademark realtor make a huge difference in your life. And having a mentor also help you just way quicker. So, you know, 90% of realtors fail within the first year. And I don't want that to be you. I believe in you. I already know you might know you can do this. And having a mentor following these six simple steps make a huge difference. Now, bonus tip number two is gonna be a huge, huge one for you who are below 18. If you're below 18, I would intern for somebody else who's a top agent. It's kind of like mentorship, but you're getting paid to learn while you're doing it. And it'll be a huge difference for you. I cannot stress this enough. Even if you are all over 18, I would still intern with somebody else beforehand 
That way, yeah, feel for what's going on and see if you enjoy doing it. So often people become a realtor thinking it's the best thing in the world, which it is, but it's a lot harder than it looks. And it takes a lot of grind, a lot of work, but it's totally pays off and it's totally worth it. And what I did, I also interned while growing my marketing agency. I knew how to do contracts. I knew about door knocking, cold calling, open houses, everything that comes along with you know being a realtor and licensed agent. It made the biggest difference. And to kind of recap for you, the six steps, or at least eight now, the bonus ones I gave you, are gonna be you know be of age 18. Make sure you have a citizenship or alien citizenship. Make sure you are a resident of the state you're trying to be a part of. You must know, be you're trustworthy and pass that kind of stipulation. And then number two is two part, two and three. You're gonna be taking your courses, your pre-licensing courses. Again, use ASAP down below. They get a 20% discount for using the link. And for some crazy reason you don't pass the first time, they give you a full money back refund for using the course as well. And it's way cheaper to do online than in person and also now it's a little harder to do because of the outbreak. Number four, get your fingerprints. It's super quick, it not cost that much money. And I'll also talk more about cost after this little segment. Number five, you wanna make sure you take your state and your national exams. 120 in total, we had two and a half hours to do the test and it's pretty easy, especially when I used Aceable. I used a different course beforehand and I failed my first time, which is why I'm so adamant about using Aceable. Also, there are tons and tons and tons of YouTubers out there that I'll link down below for you too to watch that help you study for your test and learn the vocabulary. And number six is find a good brokerage, find a good team, and that way you can really succeed and take the ground running as fast as possible. Again, I use EXP because it's a good team and it's a really opportunity to make passive income every single month just by having people join your team. And down below, you can join my team and we will help you every step of the way. You get my marketing course for free and there are a lot of other agents in my team above me even who have even more content for you to make sure you succeed and are making at least six figures or more when you first start off. This will be a game breaker for you. And number seven, find a mentor. EXP offers that. But if you don't join EXP or my group, other places like KW sometimes have mentors. Just make sure you know, having somebody that's gonna help you along the way, especially if you're brand new. And number eight, intern. Intern is super important. You get paid to learn. How can you beat that? And for costs, you know, if you use the percent discount below for Aceable, it's probably like three to four hundred dollars to get it versus like five to six hundred dollars normally or even more in person. Your background check and then also you know your test probably about like 120, 150 dollars. So so far it's around six hundred dollars. And then for me I did ABLE, this is Austin Board of Realtors to become part of the NLS and part of the inside group become a realtor of trademark with a thousand dollars for all that stuff. So in total, I probably spent $2,000 to do this. And speaking of price, make sure the broker you go to are giving you a good split. Some agencies or brokerage will charge you 50-50 when you first start off with them while you're brand new. Some will be 60-40, 70-20, and some as low as like 90-10 or zero. My VSP charges you a 80-20 split, which is pretty good for me. And I recommend grow my team for my business. So that's the key for you. And so in total about two thousand dollars plus every single month is you do a fee to your brokerage. Mine is 150 for EXP. Some are much higher because they have so much overhead. Then EXP is like the next Netflix or Uber or Airbnb or real estate. It's much, much cheaper. So definitely find what works for you. And you um, know, I have much more coming about marketing, about how to you know, get more leads, how to get your license, how to study for your license, and so much more. But this is a quick video about how to really do it yourself. And I know it's gonna help you a lot. And I love having my team help you succeed as well. 
Also, you know, get the Ace of Oak link down below. Like this button, subscribe to this channel, and tag your friends who are trying to become builders themselves so they can also, you know, live life on their own terms, have the freedom to do so, and join the best career in the world. By far, hands down, this career can change your life if you actually do the work. If you're watching this far, I know you can do it. You got this. I will see you at the top.